Okay, me again, Geodav, and the next little quick tip for you in Unreal Engine 4. Now, as you can see here, I've got my normal standard third person template open. Now, a lot of people, when testing their levels, they'll go, Dink, we'll play in the editor and click mouse, and yeah, we'll run around and do little bits and pieces. Now, that's fine. Hit escape and you get out of there. Now, sometimes you may actually want to see what it looks like in game. Now, there's a few options and we'll just, for this one, we'll just work from the editor. Now, if you look up here at this sort of joypad type thing, you go to the little arrow next to it and you can go standalone game. Hmm. You got mobile preview? Uh, no, I'm not going to do that because my computer didn't like it last time because I haven't got a mobile. Now, as you can see there, what we have is a wide screen of our little guy and he's running around and he's jumping and like that. Yeah, yeah, it's exactly the same as what we had, but it's in a separate window. Now, this is an actual in-game scene. Now, this is great, and you think, yeah, yeah, I'm happy with that. Hit escape, uh, nothing's happening. Why is nothing happening? Because you're actually in-game and not in the editor. Now, to get out of this, what you need to do is open the console. And you're like, what's a console? Well, if I press this t little key here, now you can't see it because I'm looking at my keyboard, that will open this little line there. And you can type in exit, which will, like it says there, exit the game. But what if you don't want to do that? Now you just saw something. Now what you can do, it, you hit the same console button again, and you get this big one here. Now if I type in exit, or you can EX, it'll give you all these little things that are available under the, the what they're called the console commands. OK, and you can get, look at that and then you like that, yeah, and you go OP, open, open, map name, so, all right, uh, nice. Uh, what, uh, what else is there? Well, if you type in an A, you can have a look. Type in a B. Now, there's lots and lots of these. And I'd be quite careful in what you do. But that's not the part of this thing's about. Now we'll type in exit and re-exit the map. Now, this is all well and good. And people are probably thinking, well, what on earth is he on about? And what button is he pressing? Now, because I have access to a, an American keyboard, it's the Tide key. That's this one here. Okay. Right next to your number one, blow escape. Now, before anybody of you start having a go at me, I am well aware, living in Germany, that not everybody has that key there. And it's one of the things that caused me a bit of headache in previous versions of the engine and editor, but not anymore. And why? Because if you don't actually happen to have that key or you wish to reset it, you can go up to edit, project settings, now we're, and under engine, go to console, and where was it? Uh, was I'm sure it was that one. I did have this, not that one, not that one. Input, there, sorry. Go to engine, input, and it's right there for you. Now, you can't see that. It, to me, that looks like a, a little dirty bit on my screen. But you can r click on that and set it to whatever you wish. Okay, now I know from a previous experience with the German keyboard, I actually set it to tab because it made things a lot easier for me. But we used to have to do that with the INI file. But for us now in the wonderful Unreal Engine 4, 
you can do it here okay and that's it for the moment so I'll see you soon